I'm Maddie with Maddie Sos, and thanks for hanging with me. So today I want to tell you all about the stride tights from Green Style Creations. You all, this is a this is a really good pattern. I know that I've made it a lot. It tends to be my go-to, but it's my go-to for a very good reason. This pattern has a ton of options. I mean, there's a standard different length option, so you can make shorts, the capri length, um, the regular length, and then there's also a, like an extra long length for people with long legs. And then they also have the cross cuff option that you can add to the back. So those are some really nice details. On the side of the actual tights is a kind of an insert where you can play with some contrasting fabric. It also has an optional pocket detail that you can put in on both sides, which I always include because it's super handy and is big enough to put my phone in, you all. It, make sure you put that pocket in. <laughs> it's so convenient. I've also made this pocket out of mesh in the past, which came out really cute. So I would have a, maybe like a pink stripe down the side and then I would put pink mesh over the front of that to, you know, give it a little something different. There are also different waistband options. There is the, this is the ultra high waist contoured. The ultra, the ultra high, ultra high, high waist, 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 there's those different options. For me personally, I like the contoured waistband because it really kind of snaps the pants right up against my back. There's no gaping. The, these just don't slip at all. One of the features that I like on the back is that there is this, it's kind of hard to tell with all my donuts, <laughs> but there's this rounded piece right here under the waistband and I feel like that gives like some really nice shaping to the booty. I mean, I I have yet to see anyone wearing these pants and like, well, their booty doesn't look amazing because that's just, that's just not the case. Everyone's booty looks amazing in these and I think it's because of like, you know, that little rounded part that kind of makes it it, it, it gives you like a butt lift or something. I don't know. Okay, so that's that's enough of butt talk. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you that there's also an optional pocket detail. So in the front, there's a hidden pocket that you can include into your tights. Um, it fits like a credit card, a key, or anything like that. When I used to run, I would always make sure that I included that pocket because... Well, it was just really convenient to stash things away. Now let's talk about this fabric. So I have two different fabrics here, actually. I have the black fabric, which is a nylon spandex fabric, and it's actually one of my favorite fabrics to use for my leggings, um, just because it it's a more dense type of fabric in general. It tends to have really good stretch. This one has about 75% stretch in both directions. Um, and then the donut fabric is a polyester spandex. And you all, I've, I've made tons of these tights. I have made tights like primarily out of a poly spandex. They perform a little differently, um, but they're still fine. So if you can't find nylon spandex, go ahead and use some poly spandex. Just be careful that your tights won't be see-through. Because I made that mistake, and it's not good. Now let's get into the sizing, and then we're going to talk a bit about some of my sewing bloopers. So size-wise, Green Style Creations for this pattern goes from a size B to an M. Um, I, I'm not sure what any of that means, but I can tell you that in terms of measurements, it translates to a waist of 22 inches to 57 inches, and for your hips, 32 inches up to 62 inches. 
So there's a nice wide size range for these, which I really appreciate. The other thing that I really like about the sizing is that when you're looking at the instructions for these tights, it asks you to measure different parts of your body and it gives you a different letter that corresponds to the size for that. I measured my waist, my hips, my thighs, and my calves. And then I looked at their chart and I got the different sizes for that and I just blended from one size to the other. It was super simple. And well, let me tell you, I had four different sizes on there. Um, it was H, J, K, and then M. Yeah, my thighs were the M. I mean, that, that's just the largest part of my body. That's where I tend to keep the majority of my weight. As I was grading out the pattern from my hips to the thighs, it was kind of odd, especially on that inner thigh area because you have your crotch, but then it's like, wow, like, should I really go out three sizes from the inner crotch to the outer? It, it kind of made my head hurt a little bit, I'm not going to lie. So I decided to go down to the, well, I decided to go down a size on the thighs and I knew it would work primarily because my fabric has more than 50% stretch and I just knew that this stuff would just carry me to where it needed to be and and I was right I mean I really do like the fit on these pants and I will make another pair I didn't really mention it but when I make my tights there's a couple of things that I do to the waistband to make sure that it just does not slide off of my body um, that includes adding the power net down into the waistband as well as some strategically placed elastic. In my very next video, I'm going to be showing you how you can incorporate some of these changes into any of your tight patterns. So that way, if you also suffer from tights that slide down, we can, we can get that fixed. So you all, let me tell you, when it came to the crotch gusset for this, uh, there's an optional cross crotch gusset <laughs> that you could use. Well, I, I typically always use it. But this time around, when I was putting it into my pattern, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I did not insert the crotch gusset into the crotch. I, how does that happen? I, <laughs> I have no idea how that happened. <laughs> so... I ended up just kind of like surging it all right on out of there. But you, that's a disaster. Come on. I also decided that I was going to do some really fun cover stitching on my tights. And let me see if I can show you a good part here. You see that I did use a rainbow thread to cover stitch. You uh, it, I, it has been over a year that I've used my machine this one and it was like who are you oh you're calling on me now oh oh now you want to be friends well well i'm mad at you so so let me let me show you just how mad i am i'm gonna I'm I'm cooperate to the smallest degree and you know it absolutely did i mean because <laughs> my cover stitching was so rough you all i mean i i i unpicked it twice and then i was like whatever happens happens <laughs> And so I ended up leaving it in there. Let me show you some of the wonkiness that's going on here. And it's mostly like around humps and things like that. But I really didn't have these problems last time. But can you see that stitching? Oh, that is some not very beautiful stitching there. <laughs> I, it's okay. They're mine. Um, yeah. Oh, my. Here's here's another part. Uh I'll show it to you all. It's, it's, this one's really embarrassing. Look at that squirrel's nest. That little bird's nest of I don't know what. I, I think I need to prove my loyalty to my cover stitch again. And then perhaps it'll start acting right. <laughs> Even when I thought I had it really good. You know, like towards the end it started behaving a little better. You can see the hem on my um, pants. But then look. What is that? 
<laughs> okay. I mean, like, I'll, I'll just snip that at the top and then tie it in a knot <laughs> and keep it moving. But yes, I was struggling a bit with the cover stitch this time around. And it's actually one of the reasons why I decided not to fuss with it on the actual sports bra. Let me know in the comments if you've had any really goofy blunders like that. I, I would just love, love to know. So this is the coordinating sports bra that I made. This pattern is also by Green Style Creations. It's the um, Power Sports Bra. I'll do a full review on this in the future, um, but a couple of quick details. It does have princess seams. There are some really great cup sizes. So I made a 34H and I mean, it fits really well. I did make this one reversible. So that way I have the option to wear it with tights that aren't my donut tights and just the black I, mean, I think it looks really good you are and I've I wore it this morning to work out everything stayed put all the links to everything that I've mentioned is in the description box below and if you are interested in sewing spandex definitely check out this video right over here it's about swimsuits but it's essentially going through the same exact techniques and you all, until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.